Okay, so we were dissecting the book, The Monk Who Sold His Ferrari. And in this chapter, chapter number 8, we'll be talking about kindling your inner fire. As we were discussing the certain elements of the story of Yogi Raman, which was being told by Julian to his former student, John. The first element of that story was the garden, which was denoting our mind. Just like our mind needs to be kept clean, a garden has to be kept clean or vice versa. So, in order to have that goal acquired, we had certain strategies. Number one being heart of the rose technique. Number two was um, opposition thinking. And number third was the lake strategy. In this chapter, we have the second element of that fable, of that story, and this element is the lighthouse. We were imagining certain elements in the garden. The first was garden itself, denoting our mind. The second one is white house, sorry, the lighthouse. <laughs> the lighthouse here is denot denoting our life purpose. Just like in order to guide us in a sea, we have lighthouses. In the same way, in order to guide us out of our life, we must be having a lighthouse. So, the life's purpose, what we are born to do, what we love to do, and what we must be doing with our lives, our purpose. We use the term dharma for purpose in Sanskrit. So, it is said that the purpose of life is a life of purpose. We think that we'll be happy when we do nothing or when we are resting or when we are idle. But the truth is, we are truly happy when we are progressing slowly but steadily in the direction of our true goals. So, in this chapter, we'll talk about setting and achieving our true goals. Because we all are born with a certain set of abilities which are unique to us. And if we die with those unique abilities, not fully used, then it will be a very unfulfilled life, full of stress, right? So there are five steps to truly set your goal and then to acquire it. First of all, we must do self-examination, like what is, what is it that I truly love to do, that I am truly passionate about, or that is truly serving my purpose in this world. And once you are sure about it, you need to take these following five steps to go in that direction. Number one, you must picture that goal clearly in your mind. If it is a perfect body that you want to acquire, you must have a clear picture of that in your mind. If it is financial goal, physical goal, emotional goal, mental or whatsoever, you must be having a clear picture of what you need to have in your life. Because you cannot hit a target that you cannot see. So number one is to set a clear goal. You must be clear about it. Number two, you must write it down because a goal not written is a goal not set it. So you, mu you must make a diary, a journal, and you can call it the dream book. And in that dream book, you will be mentioning or noting down everything that you need to acquire in your life. For this purpose, you can divide that uh, journal into four sections for physical, emotional, mental or spiritual growth and in each of those you can simply write down your goals that you need to acquire. Number third is positive pressure. You must put pressure on you that will help you progress in the direction of your goals. This can be done by declaring your goals to your family or friends. Tell them that I am losing weight or I am preparing for a test or I am trying to buy a new car, right? So then third step is pledge or positive pressure. Number four is to attach a deadline to your goal. You must have a clear deadline. For example, if you want to lose weight and uh, just not say that I will lose weight. Be clear about it. Have a fixed number. I will lose three pounds in three months. That will give you a sharp focus, right? And number five, the most important. This is called as the 21 days magic rule. Whatever it is that you want to acquire, just be sure about the steps that you need to take and then take those steps consistently for at least 21 days without any break. If it is weight that you need to lose, then you work out and avoid fatty stuff, fast food, etc. 
for at least 21 days this will help you form the habit because this is a time that is needed to form a new neural pathway in our brain so number one have a clear picture of your goal number two write it down number three have a positive pressure on you number four set a deadline and number five the 21 days magic rule with these steps in your mind you can clearly have a goal and then can and then you can easily progress in that direction so this was all about kindling your inner fire because if you're not really using your true capabilities you will never be satisfied no matter what you achieve in life so best of luck with setting your true goals and achieving them with ease and grace thanks for watching so yeah the symbol is the lighthouse and it is the virtue is to follow your purpose the wisdom is that the purpose of life is a life of purpose we must discover our true talents and then work in our goals the five steps we already discussed and we must never forget the importance of living with unbridled exhilaration never neglect to see the exquisite beauty in all living things today and this very moment it is a gift stay focused on your purpose the universe will take care of everything else thanks for watching we'll meet in the next video on the next chapter allah hafiz